feet move, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they typically go this way. Yeah, they don't go like this because we're going alternating. Because you don't want you don't want to do one side and then the other side at the same time because it'll change the signal of the whole brain. So yeah, it'll take us a good 10 to 15 minutes to do a good SCP up and over limbs. Then we've got to do the motors. Yeah, and the motors require, they're easier to set up because we take needles and we poke them in muscles, right? When we connect it to the machine. Yes. Yeah, I And then we do the first three electrodes on the scalp, right? And then we blast away and the patient meets the jump. Right. But for those, it takes more changes in the stimulation parameters for motors to get proper motors that will do for us. Ah, very cool. You know, the Seattle Science Foundation has this facility that you see right here, which is incredible. It's really phenomenal. Uh, you get an opportunity to see the different sort of surgical procedure, either, either with a, a cadaver specimen or different uh, specimens that are not uh, cadavers. Uh, and, and you get to practice some of these procedures yourself. When you'll get the chance to do that uh, anywhere else, really. Well, maybe some isolated sort of places. And the facilities here are phenomenal. So it's a unique opportunity. Best I've seen anywhere so far. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome.